Welcome to Advent Reading in His Word, December 8th, 2020. As we search for just the right gift this time of year, it can be daunting, sometimes depressing, sometimes just plain discouraging. If we can't find the one thing that we want for the person that we love or the person that we work with or that we're trying to surprise, it can sometimes be a totally frustrating shopping trip. This year, even more so, because most of our shopping is online. We don't know for sure if what we're ordering is exactly what we thought we were. And then sometimes when it gets into the shopping cart, it's not the price we thought it would be. Well, I want you to think on something today. God has the perfect gifts. In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So, if God has given you the ability to prophecy, speak out as much as faith has been given to you to do so. If God has given you the gift of encouragement, encourage others. That's an easy gift to share. You can either write them a card, send them a letter, email, give them a phone call. If your gift is giving, then give generously. Don't stress about it. If you're giving something, your generosity could be from your heart. If you're a baker, bake. If you are a writer, write. See, it's not so difficult to give the gift of kindness to one another. We can just be helpful to somebody. If you notice that their car is sounding kind of off, ask if you can help check their fluids. Maybe they don't know how to do so. Each of us must repent of our sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of the Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. And in this, we will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and the promise is to us and our children, all those far away or near who've been called by the Lord our God. That's another gift. We should share the gifts that are within us already and have been given to us by God. So why not do these things that you know how to do. Make cookies and give them away. Share a story with someone. Do something to help a, a parent teach their children. Do you remember when you were little and you would make out a little coupon for mom and dad for hugs? Think about making out your own coupons for how to help somebody else. There are lots of ways to give a free gift. Back years ago, there was a song sung by Sandy Patty called The Gift Goes On. And it talked about how the Father gave the Son, and the Son gave the Spirit, and the Spirit gives us life so we can give the gift of love. So if we follow along with that pattern, we can give love to everyone. The idea is to share peace, love, joy, and hope this year. So think about how you can share each of those. Look it up in your Bible app and find a scripture for it. Type up some scriptures and print them out, cut them up and put them in a box. And there you've given somebody a however many scriptures gift. So each day they can open up the box and take out a new gift of a scripture. There's lots of ideas of things that we can do. If we just trust God, read his word, and put our hope in him because he's given us the best gift of all he has given us the gift of eternal life through christ jesus in jesus name